Good morning, Scorpions. I'm Samantha Suarez with another episode of Your Scorpion News Live. Now let's kick this off with mentioning our amazing 2015 Winter Formal. Another congratulations to our court, a great job to ASB for always making our events memorable, and a huge shout out to our lovely DJ. Thanks for coming out. All you seniors watching, pay close attention because the next information will be highly important. From now, continuing on through February 6th, senior grad checks are happening. So be sure to look out for your slip up to counseling. And if you need to make up your CASIs, the English one will be held February 3rd and the math one will be held on February 4th. Justin's ring ceremony will be here on February 11th, so be sure to go down and get your class ring. Remember seniors, there are only three FAFSA workshops left in the CCRC. Next Wednesday, February 4th is the next one from 5 to 7. Even if your parents haven't done their 2014 taxes, you can still start your FAFSA. And if you're worried about not having a social security number, don't worry, we can help you with the DREAM Act. For tons of information on FAFSA, scholarships, and favorite websites, check out scorpioncountry.com. Go to Counseling, then Career Center. Hey all you Scorpions, today and tomorrow in the quad, we will be having our first ever class rush. This is a chance for you to learn about the wide range of classes Hesperia High School has to offer. Let's watch a spotlight on class rush, and then your very own Scorpion Sports will follow after. Hello Scorpions, my name is Davion Nicholson, and I want to inform you guys that today and tomorrow, Class Rush will be down in the quad. Now let's go down in the quad and see what classes your fellow students like. My favorite class at Asperia is drama, because I like to be myself and I can act a fool in there without getting in trouble for it. My favorite class is probably uh, photography, AP. English. My favorite class? Art. Art. My favorite class is calculus, you know? Uh, I had to say my favorite class is uh, law. My favorite class has to be broadcast journalism. English 3, oh. AP. Get more design. Wow, this class is I didn't even know about. I bet you didn't know about them either. So come down to the quad today and tomorrow at lunch. Be there. No? Okay. Hey Scorpions, I'm David Fuentes with sports. Let's see how our Scorpions have been doing with their teams. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Varsity Basketball for their win against Oak Hills last Thursday in one of the most epic games we ever played. We beat them by four points. Great job, guys. JV also won their game 65-52. to And today, the basketball teams play starting at 4.30 at home against Burroughs. So we hope to see you all there to come and support. And on the 20th, the girls' varsity soccer team won 3-0 against Sultana. Great work, ladies. We hope they also play today against Burroughs, so we hope to see you all there to come and support. And on Tuesday, the boys' soccer team played the best team in our league, Serrano, and tied 0-0. Great work, guys. They also play today starting at 3 against um, Burroughs, so we hope to see you all there to come and support as well. That's all from me, Scorpions. Now let's see a spotlight on one of our great athletes, Alex Hernandez. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Kiara Perez coming to you from Scorpion News, and I'm here with the one and only Alex Hernandez. He is currently ranked 11th in state and has a record of 25 wins and 6 losses. So, Alex, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, so first question, what's wrestling mean to you? It means everything. I... I practice wrestling every day. I do. I spend almost almost all my days just thinking about wrestling during the season. Okay. Second question. Um, what's your greatest win yet? Uh, making it a Masters last year and beating some top-ranked kids this year. Okay. Out of all the things you could have been in, soccer, basketball, why wrestling? Well, I started wrestling in junior high, and I just kept on going since then I didn't want to do anything else I'd rather be good at one sport than mediocre at others okay last question what gets you in the zone before you go into a match uh, just ignoring everything else the surroundings just thinking about what I'm gonna do during the match uh, and hoping for the best okay thank you so much Alex Alex Hernandez you guys the one and only Awesome spotlight. Head down to the quad today, Scorpions, and thanks for the report on our sports, David. Great job to Alex Hernandez with rank number 11 in the state. Speaking of next year's classes, next Thursday, February 5th, will be class of 2016 orientation during your English class. 
so be sure to ask your teacher when you will be going. Link Renaissance Crew is at it again. They will be hosting another Cassie Jeopardy on February 4th, so have fun and study hard. Third quarter progress report will be coming out next Friday, February 6th, so you know what that means, Scorpions. If you have any Ds or Fs, be sure to get them up now so that you won't receive a progress report. And if you need help getting those grades up, don't forget tutoring started on Monday. Remember, it's available Monday through Thursday from 2.40 to 4 p.m. in the HHS library. And if transportation home is what you're worried about, busing will be provided. So come down and take advantage of this wonderful opportunity to improve this semester's grades. The last day to drop classes is February 12th. So if you're unhappy with one of yours, be sure to see your counselor soon. Oh, before I forget, let's take a look at the WASC Spotlight and Fast Facts. Welcome back to Fast Facts. That's Aaron and I'm Summer. I bet you guys don't know the month's meaning. And I bet you didn't know there was no January. Back in the day, on the Roman calendar, there was no January or February. March was the first month to start the new year. Just imagine no January, February. We'd be out of school sooner. But they added January. And at first, January wasn't called January. It was called Lanieris. Why was it called January? After the god Janus, duh. Oh, the two-headed guy from the last episode? Yeah. The future. Summer. Oh, hey, Aaron. Summer, wait for me. Bye. Good morning, Scorpions. I'm David. And I'm Samantha. And today we're going to ask students if they know what WASC is. Uh, <laughs> isn't it like the like the SWAT team? <laughs> like that? Like something with like the it's army? Like... No, I don't know what it is. Nah, I don't know. No. Uh, Wait, what a wasp is? No. no. A wasp. It's a bee. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's the new hip dance of 2014. Let's do it. Yeah, 2015. Oh, <laughs> what's wasp? No. What's wasp? I don't know what wasp. Correct food. A wasp is best in association of schools and colleges. No one really seems to know. Well, besides Josh. But let's ask Mrs. Estrada to elaborate on what exactly wasp is. WASC is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. It is a team centered in California that comes out to uh, certify schools, basically. To accredit a school means to certify the school as being valid, as having the programs and the policies in place that students need. Okay, so what she's saying is that this is an outside group of seven people and we need their accreditation because we want the WASC seal on our diploma. Now that we know what it is and that they're coming to visit, when are they coming and what should we expect when they're here? Yeah, and why is it so important to us as a school? I wonder if Mr. Padilla knows. Let's ask him. The visiting committee for WASP is going to comprise of seven people and they're going to be here on March 8th through the 11th. That's Sunday through Wednesday. The reason why WASC is important is it, it basically validates that we are a school doing what our job is to do, which is to educate you guys. So they'll be here verifying that we are doing what we claim to be doing, which I personally think we have a, we're doing a great job of educating you guys. If a school loses its accreditation, that means the diploma is no longer valid and colleges will not accept it and accept you into their college. So accreditation is extremely important. What should you expect when you are here? Well, you should expect people walking around campus that you've never seen before. And they'll be coming in out of every single classroom sometime during the day to look and see what's going on. Okay, so what Mr. Padilla is saying is that WASC will be here March 8th through the 11th, and us students will only see WASC three days out of the four that they're here. So we should expect for them to walk in and out of classrooms, carry notebooks, and asking students questions. So kind of like the usual. Yeah, and he's saying it's important because they validate that teachers are teaching us, and that when graduation times come, we will receive the WASC seal on our diplomas so that they will be recognized by colleges and the military. Okay, so now that we know what it is and when they'll be here and why it's important, let's ask Mr. Everett what we need from WASC. Our goal is to get that six year clear, um, but a six year with a one day revisit is also a very good uh, accreditation and there's no shame in that at all. So basically what I'm getting from Everett is that we're aiming to do really well so that WASC doesn't revisit us for another six years. So listen up Scorpions, this team of people are coming around to our classes and we need the visit to go really well so that our diplomas mean something. Let's show them exactly how great of a school HHS really is. That spotlight was amazing. I love that girl's hair. So be on the lookout for the WASC committee March 8th through the 11th. Wow, really? This month didn't exist? No January in the calendar? That's interesting. 
Great fast facts, guys. HHS 2014 mock trial season ended with a 2-2 two two record. Our team was very well represented at the Constitutional Rights Foundation Awards ceremony. Those earning awards included Bailiff Award Gabriel Rodriguez, Court Clerk Award Tiana Bruins, Pre-Trial Attorney Award Prosecution Beatrice Bruins, Pre-Trial Attorney Award Defense Anthony Estrella, Prosecution Attorney Award Rafi Chowdhury, Prosecution Attorney Award Larry Ariza, Prosecution Attorney Award Jimmy Nguyen, Defense Attorney Award Adrian Panagos, Witness Award Carolina Alvarez, Witness Award Evelyn Alvarez, Witness Award Alex Martinez, and Coaches Award Alex Martinez. Maxwell would like to thank all team members for their hard work, tenacity, and bravery in competing inside the courtroom crucible. Thanks also to Assistant Coach Ms. Cooper for hours of dedicated service to the program and its competitors. Now on another note, trials for softball will be held today and tomorrow, so be sure you have a current physical on file in the athletics office and write down these dates so you are sure to make it to at least one of them. Wear your athletic gear and meet on the varsity softball field right after school. If you have any questions, see Coach Brookshire or Coach Gray. Speaking of softball reminded me that the boys varsity baseball team is having their annual alumni game Saturday. And it's baseball guys, not softball. It's going to be February 7th. It's going to be here on the boys' varsity field, so come out and support our Scorpion baseball players as they take on past players. Attention all Christian club members. We will not be having any food today, but there will still be a meeting in room B2 during lunch today. Hope to see you all there. And if you have any questions, concerns, or just want someone to talk to, follow us at Scorpion News, text us at 760-713-6575, or visit our website at hesperiabroadcasting.com. Oh, and one last thing, visit our booth tomorrow at lunch during Class Rush, and if you're one of the first 10 people, we'll let you record a Valentine shout out. And that concludes this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, Scorpions. Until destiny. Hi, I'm Tiara Perez, your Winter Formal Queen, and I just really fast wanted to give a big thank you to Samantha Suarez. She helped me campaign beyond what I could ask for. She bought all those fruit roll-ups, candy bars, gummy bears, donuts, all that came from her. So thank you so much, Sam, and I love you so much.